Thank you for staying with us. The West African Examination Council is preparing to commence computer-based examination for private candidates. Senior Correspondent Sharon Nijasa has details. Like Mamino, Kanu, and Akande, the integral part of the computer-based test CBT as an assessment of learning is the computer. Thus, CBT is the delivery of question papers through the use of a computer with their answers supplied with the same device. I met with Daniel Igudu, a private candidate for the 2024 West Africa Secondary School Certificate Examination WASC for private candidates. He tells me that he is excited about writing the examination through the computer. To my own understanding and idea, I feel, I feel it's making sense putting out the CBT for us here yeah, because at then when there used to be this paper examinations and all of that, you know, there used to be this malpracticism and you know corruption about teachers helping students to write their exams, taking their papers and all of them. So this CBT is actually going to reduce um, the system of corruption of teachers helping students write exams. So I feel it's, it's, it's okay. Like it's a very good idea. Amos Dangut is the head of the National Office of the West African Examination Council, WAEG. In an exclusive interview with TVC News, Dangut announced that there will be a mock examination to test development and candidates can register for free. WAEG has decided to go uh, computer-based for very many reasons. In fact, the most obvious one is that it will reduce if not curb examination malpractice. It will reduce the time taken to process uh, results and release the same, uh, process the exam and release the results. And for those who are still not sure of themselves, we are going to give an opportunity for them to try hands-on what they will encounter during the examination. And that we are going to do by uh, staging a mock computer-based WAS that will come up on the 23rd and the 24th. That is next week, 23rd and 24th January. All candidates who have registered will have the opportunity to log in free of charge without paying any dime. According to research, CBT is fast replacing paper and pencil test mode of assessment. Daniel and other candidates believe that the use of CBT for the conduct of public examinations in Nigeria aligns with global practice of education assessment. With the recent push in globalization, information and communication technology now plays a crucial role in human lives. Many educationists believe that ICT can be a catalyst for change in the education sector. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News. Well, joining us in the studio is the head national office, WAEC, Dr. Amos Josiah Dangut. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Good morning, Nigerians. Right. It's good to have you because uh, so many, uh, there's been divergent reactions with regards to this decision by the council to do the computer-based test. But um, now the, the, the council has decided to conduct its first test. Uh, the question is how it took us so long to come to this point. And uh, if everything has been put in place to ensure a smooth and successful uh, test or examination, conduct of the examination at the end of the day. Uh, thank you very much. You see, you're wondering how and why it took us this long to come uh, this, to this point. Yeah. You see, everything is dynamic in life. There's a, a time for everything. And now is the time for us to be compliant to be where the world is. The world today is on the technology lane, and particularly in the field of examination, computer-based examination, and in our own case, is the, the worst that we offer. And uh, we have taken all this while to get adequately prepared. Mm. As we speak today, we have tried the system, and it has worked. Uh, I can say that we have uh, done the basic preparation. That includes um, the trial test. We have tried out uh, the candidates, students, right. 
we have secured state-of-the-art computer uh, studios that will give us the necessary uh, backing to enable us to have a seamless conduct of exam. All the examination operatives, the supervisors and vigilators have been adequately trained and we have also uh, done a lot of mobilization, sensitization, and just like you had in the previous uh, clips, uh, from tomorrow there is an avenue for candidates to go online into the examination environment, try hands-on and see how it will be, mm -hmm. just to allay all anxieties, worries and fears. So we are very prepared. Uh, talking about fears, uh, we, we definitely talk about that. But then I'm wondering, you know, technology is something that is, you know, really here with us and there is nothing we can do without having to do with technology because even we are afraid that it's going to be taking some, some people's job already. But <laughs> how, how, I'm wondering how the CBT aligns with the overall, um, you know, broader education goals of the West African region. You see, it will not take anybody's job. It will only take a change of activities, a change of fields. Uh, what we are doing is, is, is a very simple method of uh, conducting exam. So instead of using pen and paper, you will now sit before the computer. I should also add to, uh, to what I sit now, that it's a hybrid examination. What do I mean? The objective and the, uh, the objective questions will come on screen. Candidates will provide answers online. But for the AC and the test of practicals, <laughs> the questions will be beamed on the screen. On the screen, but candidates will now right. give their answers mm. using pen and, uh, uh, and on pen on the paper. Mm. So that is how it's going to be. Now, I needed you to talk to us more on the mock exams that will happen tomorrow. I think. Yeah. Uh, how? fast spread is this going to happen is in the 36 states of the federation and the federal capital territory or some selected states this is going to happen because we've seen concerns being raised with regards to this matter all right because we are aware of what uh, is trending as for the phobia mm. so we have opened the door for all registered uh, candidates from tomorrow and the next they will go online using their handsets they don't even have to go anywhere. The comfort of their room, they log in using their entry details, and then they try it out. And our system, like I said, is so simple that uh, anyone who can read and write will be able to do it uh, in such a way that um, the system has where you can either use mouse or you use the letters on the key, on the keyboard. For example, if you want to go to the next question, all you do is you press N. If you want to go to the previous question, you just play, uh, press P. Mm. So it's very easy. You either use the mouse or you use the uh, alphabets on the keyboard. So it's a very Is it across the 36 states of the federation? It's across. It's right. going through. Whoever registers, wherever that person is, even if he has not come back, if he's living abroad and is about to come back for the exam, wherever the candidates are, they can log in all through the 36 states, including Abuja, and take our examination freely. The mock examination is free. Mm. Mm. So uh, that's talking about, talking about um, using the computer and the urban setting. That is no, is, there's nothing to worry about. But then the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, mm. uh, they, they said that, no, that this is not going to help, especially people in the rural areas. Uh, talk about uh, some who have not even seen literate. computer before, mm. let alone being able to identify what QWERTY keyboard means and all of that. So how are you trying to bridge this gap uh, uh, between the, what, those who have access to the internet and those who have access to computer and those who do not even have access at all? You see, I want to allay the fears of the stakeholders of the public. Uh, right from when we started this uh, private candidate exam first series, because we have the second series and we have the school candidate examination. This has always been uh, conducted in urban centers where the facilities exist. But uh, you, you'll be shocked to hear and to know that most rural areas today have the capacity to undertake uh, computer examinations. Now, coming back to your, your, your question, uh, our exam in this case, like I said, has always been urban centers. Mm. 
we have it. But I want to tell you today, and I want to tell the Nigerian public, that if there is any rural community that wants us to conduct this first series private candidate examination, the was we are ready. We have the technology, we have the capacity, we have the ability, we have the determination. So all we need is if there is a viable request, right. we are ready to deploy. Request has to be made. It has to be made because we will be going out of the norm. Like I told you, traditionally we conduct this very first series in urban centers. So if there is any uh, call for us to go out of where we are, the request is made and we consider it we are good to go. Now talk to us about um, uh, turnout so far in terms of uh, registration for this uh, exercise. Uh, how the number of persons that have registered, if they have embraced it, so to speak, because this is something new that is coming to them. Are you also skeptical like the <laughs> others out there? No, I am not. Well, I would say this. They were otherwise asking. Yes, I, I, I'm going to answer. Her. You see, uh, with every innovation, people are wary of it. Mm. They are afraid. You see, uh, because of the research that we have done, everything is in place. And I want to put it to you or put it on record today that we are just on the threshold of overshooting the entry figure for the same exam last year. And what does this point out to? Mm. It points out that there is a hunger, there is a yearning to embrace technology. Mm. That's it. Okay, let's quickly go on a break. When we return, we'll continue this conversation with you. Stay with us. Thank you, Stambik IBTC, for giving me two million euros. I'm so excited, happy, and I'm grateful. I'm speechless. I can't see because I'm so happy. I really appreciate. I don't know. I don't know, even know what to say. But when they see me with the money, when I snap picture and post it to my friend, when they see the money, <laughs> that they will show that this is real. It's not a scam. A million naira by this time around is a big money. Stambik IBTC Bank to the world. I'm very happy that I won one billion naira. Thank big IBTC bank. I'm so happy. Hey, what I would tell people who are not banking with Stambik IBTC, they should start banking with Stambik IBTC. Since I started banking with Stambik IBTC, everything is seamless to me. And I know to other from a couple of friends, they should keep on banking, keep on saving. One day, they're going to be like me and be one of the men earlier. Stambik IBTC is actually helping. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, we are still looking at uh, the decision of uh, West Africa Examination Council to commence computer-based examination for private uh, candidates. And uh, we have in the studio the head national office, WAEC, Dr. Amos Josiah Dangut. Um, now, you have addressed the number of persons that have registered, how it's, they are embracing this decision to do something different from what they are used to, talking about the CBT. Uh, but the other question will be, the, the, if this will address the matter of malpractices that we have witnessed over time. It's so pleasant to hear, uh, to have this question. It will go a very, very long way to cope examination malpractice. Mm. I give you an example. It will enable us to know real time when the questions are being delivered. Unlike the traditional method where you have delays, you have intentional uh, acts to undermine the examination. So it allows us to know real time and we have deployed technology that will help to proctor the examination. So it's not only the supervisors. There are other uh, aspects that have been put in place to check examination malpractice. And you can also see that uh, because it is technology-based, mm. it goes by the time allotted for that exam. Unlike in the traditional method when the supervisor will feel, ah, let me allow them 10 extra minutes. But with this one, no. It is standard, standardized. The same conditions apply to all the candidates in all the examination centers. So it... So you, think, so you think this is part of the reasons why people are you know, agitating against the introduction of uh, this computer-based test? Well, you see, it may be part of it, 
But I want to believe that the major reason why some people are kind of afraid of it is fear of change. Mm. Just the, the thought of the idea of having a change. Even if you tell somebody, okay, you will no more eat with the spoon, you will use fork, you know there is fear. So that is just a fear of change. I don't know about that. But then, <laughs> but then the, the reality is, you know, we, we both know that, uh, we all know rather, that um, some people do not really have access to, you know, computers. And that's, you know, is a clear fact. But then the question I would like to ask you is, now that there will be transition from, I mean, transition to a computer-based test model for the West African Examination, Examination Council, does it mean that this new model will necessitate a change in syllabus for the students and also the, um, uh, the educators? No, there won't be any change in syllabus in the sense that all students who have gone out of the, or out of the school system are expected to have studied computer science, either computer studies, data processing, which will have on taught paper. them in, in school, all schools. It's no, no, a curriculum. On paper, I mean, those who, some people they are just taught the, the, theory, the theoretical aspect, but they don't have access. They don't have to access to how the real works. system. They know, okay, there's a monitor, there is a CPU, there's a keyboard, but they don't see it. You see, we are not we, we are not aware of that because for us to recognize any school to serve as a, a was examination mm -hmm. center, you will have got to got these things and the facilities, mm. and it's part of the curriculum. And besides, like what I said, the examination is so seamless, it's so easy, uh, it's user-friendly. Once you are able to read, the keyboard is before you, you can see letter P, you can see letter N. That's all that you need. Right. So the, the, recall that uh, we had the 2023 general election introduced, we also introduced uh, the use of technology. And one of the challenge was this matter of having real-time results where people raised an eyebrow, there were glitches here and there, which INEC also uh, came to address that they had improved on it uh, leading up to the off-cycle election at the end of the day. Uh, how are we, how is the council looking at addressing matters of technical glitch if they arise, especially look at network, we know how things are in this part of the world, uh, internet and all of it. What's the plan on the ground? Uh, our system, I don't want us to compare with uh, Nigeria, but I can assure you. We are you. Nigeria. Well, WAIC is an international organization. Well, I know, but we are in Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> so I, said, I don't want to, to talk because honestly, I'm, I'm, you, I may be dressed like this, but I'm not a politician. <laughs> but I can tell you that we have put a place that is perfect. We have tried it. We have deployed it. And like I said, we're going to do it uh, tomorrow, the next, that's the mock. And we also have standby uh, facilities. Mm. Let me also add to you that we have uh, developed a technology that will be independent of the, let me use the word, the grid network. So we have a micro network in our exam center. Mm. So it is not dependent on uh, what is out, out there. So in case you are afraid that there's <laughs> network failure, it I won't go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should mention whether, uh, whether WAIC also has um, an uh, IREF portal ah. so, so that you can view results. No, real -time. They might have their own exactly, strategy. Because they are using CBT and then we expect. Uh, yes, we, we have those facilities. Will they, will they get we the results immediately? Um, they, and they because of the it. component, I told you it's a hybrid exam. Mm. Yeah. There's a component that will be on paper. So they can't get the results. That's yes, what I'm asking. That's that's right. But then, um, we'll what there. area, you know, because this new added, uh, newly added information and all of that, what area would you advise the teachers, the students, and also the centers to, you know, uh, have, uh, to focus on and also have at the back of their mind as they um, work on this innov innovation? I just want them to have at the back of their mind that uh, there is nothing strange about it. They've been fiddling with uh, handsets. <laughs> they, they, they see computers. Even if they have not touched it, they see computers. And like I said, they are also going to... Their, their imagination should come alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, we, we, right. we, we have uh, various means of sensitization. Right. Uh, we are also going to have demos. In fact, this week we are deploying demos apart from the hands-on. Mm. And uh, I would also want to urge uh, the students to, or candidates, because this is really for private candidates, mm. to really um, get up and doing, 
to study hard because one thing they must know is that whether it is computer based or the traditional exam is what you put in that you get absolutely so, so you really need to be prepared we all are aware of this saying proper planning prevents poor performance mm. so they just have to prepare well and i can guarantee that for any person who is prepared Success is certain. Flying colors. colors. And we'll be there to celebrate. <laughs> so, what you're saying now is that computer based WIAC examination mode of testing private candidates have come to stay. Yes. Inshallah, by the grace of God, it has come to stay. So, for the private candidate first series, because sometimes people are not attentive to hear what we say. <laughs> we are not talking about school candidate examination, mm. because that one is in the hands of the government, mm. who owns and controls what is happening there. So whenever the government is ready, and they inform us, we are good to go, just like we are, we are about to So start. what improvements are we hoping to see in perhaps the next series? Yes, we are preparing that in the near future, we should be completely computer-based, not a hybrid, where we want to discard with uh, pen and paper in the conduct and administration. So they have to of type, the, type in their answers. There are type many the solutions, stages. many <laughs> solutions. Today, there are key parts. AI-generated content? No, there are key parts today. You just write all that you are That's writing, right. and it transforms it to the word. Right. Mm. Uh, we've seen there was a story where it was reported that uh, a student used chat GPT to answer some questions. No, 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 no. So we, we have the technology to <laughs> shut off all systems. It's only YX system that we run in examination centers. Right. We'll have to leave this conversation here now. Head National Office YEC, Dr. Amos Josiah Dangut. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me. All right, now, we will be going on a break. The governor of Ogun State, Dr. Abiyondo, has acknowledged the impact of uh, the citizens in the state to his victory in the gubernatorial election. That will be our conversation when we return after this break. Stay with us.